You're late. Traffic. The government wants to see you. Why? What's he want? Find out. I'll change the plates. Why are you in such a rush? My granddad said he'd finish it tonight. Finish what? I told you, I'm a necklace. Paula, in silver, with a chain. Oh, yeah. He's nice, your granddad. Yeah, he is. Granada. Automatic. Thought we were going to frighten him. Not top him. You frightened, Bry? No, Mr. Elkin. You like a taste of the real thing? Yeah. Sure. That's good, because you're driving a second car. We'll do the switch in the market. Always plenty of people lugging gear in and out of motors down there. You know where to park. Yeah. Right. By the way, when I go on a job myself, I don't like any mistakes. Do you understand? You, Mr. Elkin? <laughs> Why's that then? Because gold's up. 30 pence. That knows governor, eh, once in a while? That's right. You coming out tonight, then, Paula? No, no. What about you, Nind? Oh. Meet me down the bench half seven? I wouldn't be seen dead down the bench with you. You don't need no dowry to come out with me. Get lost, Parsons. What's up? Got your eye on the six form, have you? Fancy hey, something a bit older? You're not thinking of going out and having a six-film, are you? <laughs> what? With my dad? I'm lucky to go out with mum sometimes. Nah, I'm just not all that bad at them two. Here, Paula. Scott says he fancies you. I'm not a nephew liar. Oh, what, that animal? <laughs> there you are. I told you she liked you. Oh, look at them. Big men. What are you on about, Prescott? Nothing. You carry on kissing Scott. Bow up, will ya? I might wear it at school, Monday. What? My necklace. What's the matter with you? Come over to me for a change, eh? See my granddad. What do you know if it's not fixed up before my dad goes spare? Cheer up, Nins. Might never happen. How long have I got? About five minutes. Don't be late. Nind, are your mum and dad all right? What? You know, okay. Oh, nothing like that. See, when my dad gets down, it's always a business. Yeah, my granddad have really bad weeks coming sometimes. I'm gonna smile to a baby. No, it's not that. It's like he's scared of something. Something round here. All right. Yeah. I don't know the password and all. Hi, Miss Siddhi. Hello, Paula. I'll see you, Mandarin. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Sati Kalji, good to see school. No, Mum. This is like a prison, this place. Gives me the shivers. Everyone creeping around like they're scared of something. Oh, they're legal to hair. There is a lot to be frightened of. But you never say what, though, do you? Take the long way round, Ron. 
Don't give the lady a chance. Hi, Danny. There's Open University. Get out of the way. Hello, Mum. Hello. Cup of tea. Cup of the kettle on in a sec. Dean, turn that down. OK. Brenda down the shed? Always bound to be. Oh, no, he said he was taking his cab down the car wash. Oh, damn. Hope he remembers to get some more aspirin. I told him we were out. Brenda's finishing the necklace tonight. Is he? Don't go on about it, though, will you, love? These old headaches of his, they don't get any better. Where then, Paula? Chemist. Chemist. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what to have, you see. I don't know what to have to please him. Don't let me hurry you closing up. Your pleasure is my business. <laughs> oh, sure. What sort of husband is your ten quid to go out and buy your own anniversary present? Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Your time is my time, my dear. But I just dropped the catch on the door. You stay where you are. Don't move! You touch that button on the door and I think off what's done it. Please, I've nothing here. Right. Mr. Wisner, you know why we've come. And we want the lot, everything out on the top. Safe, showcases, little chamois bags. You leave one ring behind and I'll thread it through your nose. <laughs> 